Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Finally, I'm into the season of Stripe, new KVK just started and I'm really really excited. And as, as always, as a free to play player, you have a chance to get a new heroes from the event which happens always at the start of the new season. The event is called Wheel of Destiny and in this season we have something new about this event, right? From this season I guess we are going to have a choice on which heroes we want to unlock or maybe get a 10 um, legendary uh, tokens, right? I like this change simply because it was one of the onlyest opportunities for every to play players to get some legendary heroes which we all which we always wanted, right? For example, we have here Tobin and Urag, the new cavalry heroes and other heroes which we can choose to put there, right? I'm pretty surprised that we have some epic heroes in here i guess maybe somebody wants to have epic heroes from the lucky from the wheel of destiny but in general i would not recommend to put some epic heroes here try to understand what's your uh, gameplay what kind of heroes you need maybe you want to have some goresh maybe you want to have some skolgul or other heroes but for my case uh, I'm putting here uh, Theodore, Urog, Urag and Tobin because that's the heroes which I don't have and of course my Magrot uh, which I could not get from the uh, last season Wheel of Destiny and hopefully I will be getting her in this case because as a marksman player, as an archer player I want to have every single archer which is in the game and of course a um, big plus is that Magrat is, gar is garrison hero and for archer player you need to have uh, archer garrison hero as you're defending uh, the city, right? I like this change, um, I will mention it again because I was not really expecting something like this from the developers of the game. And I highly approve every capability which will give uh, free-to-play players a choice in this game simply because it's always really really hard to focus on heroes because every single season the new heroes are coming out and generally new heroes are much better than the old ones, right? This is my setup which I will try to spin the uh, Wheel of Destiny spins. Of course the other rewards are pretty good, um, like 50 hour speed ups for Universal and for the army recruitment. Of course, G3 hero tokens are another great reward from here. And of course, legendary medals are always great to have simply because we can actually go to six star in this game. And uh, well, less lucky medals never exist. You want to have as much as possible, right? Um, as a free to play player, of course, I don't have any uh, tickets my spins generally happen that i can only do 20 spins and uh, of course it will be interesting for me if i will be able to get uh, my desired the legendary hero which is of course magrot right um generally i'm not a cavalry player i generally don't care about cavalry gameplay because i don't think that's like most suitable gameplay for my account but in general i think that uh, in this kind of games you kind of want to have at least every single hero because of course call of dragon is also a collector's game and uh, in general i really i like to co like to collect things uh, not only in games but in real life too right um, so it's time for me to start spinning um, this uh, wheel of destiny i have been waiting for this one because it's like a uh, margaret chance to get uh, before it was not uh, really available for us to choose the custom hero and you can, you, you you actually had uh, two chances of getting you the hero you wanted but from now on uh, because of this custom hero edition i think um, a lot of free to play players are going to get the heroes they want right uh, of course let's start spinning um, our um wheel of destiny i will try my best uh, i don't know how you can try your best by just clicking on a spin but let's see what kind of um luck i have in season of stripe um, i did not like my luck last season but let's see maybe uh, everything is getting better and better in terms of luck in call of dragons because as a free to play player you want to have this luck in order for you to get the desired heroes and the artifacts right 
All right, let's get these three spins, um, like three arrows um, at the start, because let's see how you, you, you actually have to spend, have to spin this uh, Wheel of Destiny, and let's see how lucky I will be, right? That's the first spin. Of, of course, I always want to get the legendary heroes, every single one of them. And yeah, I was so, so close of getting Magroth, but 15 hours speed up, and of course, resources are one of the worst rewards from here, right? Uh, all right, first three spins uh, were kind of bad because we didn't get the G3 token or legendary medal or the heroes. And let's see um, how we are going to continue doing this, right? All right, let's spin another time. Uh, let's hope that uh, at this time we can get something. But yeah, I guess uh, if we weren't going to conclude the legendary heroes, we got uh, the best rewards possible other than the heroes, which is la legendary medal. G3 token and another 15 hour speed up, which we already got the second time, right? That's pretty cool. All right, I guess slowly it's time for us to get some hero here, right? Because that's the main idea about the Wheel of Destiny. And let's try and let's make it happen, right? Okay, come on. Now it's time for us to get at least one, right? Okay. Yeah, no, not a single hero, unfortunately. Okay, at least we got G3 hero token, right? I think this Wheel of Destiny will kind of scam me and we won't gonna get any legendary heroes, but yeah, even if I'm gonna get at least one and that will be Magrat, I will be super, super happy. So let's let's keep rolling and let's hope that uh, luck will come back towards us because I have been wanting to get Magrat so much that uh, like this game should give me the Magrat. All right, let's go another three spins. I uh, like one spin with three arrows. Okay, come on, it's time, right? Okay, not a single legendary hero so far. And yet again, uh, we got 15 hours speed up. I guess it's a third time. Um, that's a good reward in my opinion, but not the most important from this Wheel of Destiny, right? You want to get the heroes, uh, of course. Well, we are not looking good in terms of the legendary heroes. So we are getting some good uh, materials and some currencies in the game, but Wheel of Destiny is not about the other uh, like resources and other rewards. Its main idea behind Wheel of Destiny is the uh, new heroes and the desired hero you get, right? I hope I'm gonna get at least one legendary hero. I hope it won't gonna be Theodore, uh, like at least Urag, Tobin, or Magrat. And of course, Magrat is my uh, primary choice from this uh, Wheel of Destiny. Let's go. We are getting, we only have five more tickets, so it's time for us to get, okay, Theodore, right? That's the hero I just said. Okay, Theodore. Finally, we got something. I just said that the worst choice would be the Theodore. And I got Theodore. Well, generally, I really like Theodore as a hero in general and the play kit as a cavalry hero. Um, I put Theodore here because I wanted to unlock her, because I unlocked him, because I didn't have Theodore before. But of course, it was my last choice, unfortunately, and I got my last choice legendary hero. But still fine, right? The Wheel of Destiny was going so bad that I was thinking, okay, if I will get at least one uh, legendary hero from this Wheel of Destiny, I will be happy, but yeah, I guess uh, whatever game game gives you, you kind of have to be happy because that's a life of a free-to-play player. All right, we still have like five uh, tickets. Uh, there is not, a, not more tickets you can get for gems. 20 is the max, and hopefully we can get at least one uh, from the three, and I'm still not seeing my Magrat, unfortunately. And I'm getting a little bit angry because I have been trying to get her for already like two seasons. And unfortunately, we are having uh, five tickets left and there is still no Magrat. All right, let's let's say, let's continue like this. Last time I spinned, I said um, like uh, my worst choice is Theodore. I will say that my worst choice is the Magrat. Maybe the luck will uh, give us the Magrat right now. Okay, let's spin it, right? Okay, come on, one more legendary hero and I will be already happy, right? One more. Okay, no. Yeah, it was super close with Urag and Magrat, but yeah, I guess uh, fourth or fifth uh, 15 hour speed up, I, I can't be mad about this, right? Because 15 hour speed ups is amazing, especially for me, for free to play player. And of course, G3 tokens, always great to have. Um, that's like one of the rarest uh, 
rewards you can get in Call of Dragons, which is the hero tokens, right? All right, we have only left two arrows and one spin. Uh, I'm not really sure if I will be able to get the two, two new legendary heroes or Magrot. I'm pretty sure it will land on some resource or like 15 hour speed up. That's the luck we are seeing so far, but uh, yeah, like I really hope that I would get Magrot because as a marksman player, I have every single archer hero in this game, but not Magrot. And uh, Magrot as a garrison hero, as a garrison skill hero. I think it was really necessary for me to get her, but I hope in near future, I don't know how, I will be able to get her and I will be able to enjoy this hero like everybody does because it's well known that Magrot and Zyda is the best archer hero pair in the whole game currently. Alright, it's time for me to spin one last time uh, the uh, Wheel of Destiny and let's hope maybe these two last spins will land on legendary hero and I won't gonna be... Uh, said at the end of this video, right? Okay, let's run this spin. Come on, at least one more and uh, I will be fine. At least one more. Okay, well, I guess uh, G3 tokens, two of them. Uh, let's kind of conclude our uh, Wheel of Destiny. We got uh, Theodore, we could not get Magrot again. We could not get any of these two new legendary heroes. Uh, and that's pretty sad for my side because I'm not really a, a cavalry player, but I always want to spin this uh, Wheel of Destiny. I understand you can save up the uh, tickets to wait for the desired heroes you want to get for your for your Legion type, but uh, for me, Wheel of Destiny is one of the best uh, spinning event in the whole game, and I don't want to miss it a, at least once, right? Okay, so let's conclude. We got Theodore, at least one legendary hero, which uh, I'm kind of happy, right? Because before these uh, three heroes, I wanted to have Theodore too, because I think Theodore is one of the best cavalry heroes in the game. I really like the play kit. I really like the skills and synergies, and I really like the art of the theme of the Theodore in general. Uh, well, if you are unlucky like me, um, and you did not get the desired hero, you could... Uh, you can always have one more chance from this random legendary hero spin, I guess. And from here, well, I have a chance to get uh, Magrot, because, but I understand that the chances are pretty low. Uh, here we don't see any new legendary heroes so far. Maybe in the future we're gonna see it. Uh, like, for example, last season I could see Bakshi here. And for now on, I don't see any Bakshis, which means every single season... This wheel is getting changed, and I hope maybe next season we're gonna see some new cavalry heroes even here, right? So, like, yeah, I guess in terms of rewards, uh, uh, what the Wheel of Destiny is made uh, about, um, like, unlocking the legendary heroes, we, we, could, we could not get the best ones, uh, which I put here. Uh, we actually got the worst one, uh, which is Seodor, but uh, in terms of other rewards, I think I got, like, 5 15-hour speed up. And like at least three or four G3 tokens, which is like best ones if we weren't gonna include the heroes from the Wheel of Destiny, right? I guess this is my luck at the start of the season. Um, it doesn't really look good. I, of course, wanted to get Magrot, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to be sad about this game. Uh, but I, I think I'm, at the end of the day, I will make it happen and unlock the Magrot, but... Uh, it's been like two seasons, two seasons worth of Wheel of Destinies, but I still don't have her, right? Um, that's fine. I hope the luck will be better for you guys. And of course, uh, share your uh, luck from the Wheel of Destiny as a free-to-play player and as a uh, pay-to-win player also, because it always feels great to see that somebody unlocked every single legendary hero from here, and that means that they are happy, right? And so share, like express your anger or happiness about the, the Wheel of Destiny of the Season of Stripe and you can see from my voice and from my reactions from this video that I am not really happy about this Wheel of Destiny. I hope you liked the video. If you did, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game. I hope everybody will have an amazing day, morning and night. We are going to see each other very, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.